my life thesis has always been this guiding idea. Fear no idea. That was my understanding of the American revolutionaries when they authored the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. Just remarkable, these guys would fear no idea. And it's a contagious philosophy. A kid from Phoenix was emblematic, I think, of that philosophy. William Holden was his name. He grew up in Phoenix. He went to Phoenix Union High School. He didn't want to go into the war. I'll hide out in the National Guard. I'll be safe in the National Guard. So wrong. He ends up in Italy, part of Patton's armored division, piercing the underbelly of Europe, coursing up through Italy. He draws cartoons as well as carrying a rifle. His cartoons are published in Stars and Stripes. Does he pick on Tojo and Hitler and Mussolini? No. He picks on the number one enemy of the American fighting soldier, the officers in his own army corps. The soldiers love his cartoons. The officers see them as seditious. His heroes are Willie and Joe. They appear to be multi-ethnic. You'll get over it, Joe. Once I was going to write a book exposing the army after the war myself. It's all about GIs grousing the entire time. They are liberating Europe from fascists. Wonderful cartoons. His editor, General George S. Patton, felt Baldwin's cartoons were seditious. Bad for morale, soldier. Do you think your cartoons would be welcome to the Russian army? To which young Bill Malden said, isn't that the point, General? That was the point. Armies of free individuals will always defeat armies of slaves.